Hello and welcome to today's episode about clay cord adjustments. Today we will discuss everything about the red dirt and what you need in order to perform on the best level possible. We will talk about what gear you need, how indoor and outdoor tennis differ, what technical changes you have to make and how to move efficiently on court. So let's start what gear you need. So I guess the first fact about clay court tennis is that it's played outside. Here in Germany and in many other countries, the weather conditions are not as stable as in California, USA. So it is really important that you always have a rain gear with you, that you can change in between matches or practices and are always prepared for the uncontrollable. The less stress, the better. Second of all, you also need different shoes. Indoors, you most likely are going to wear an all court or hard court shoe. On clay, it is important that you buy a clay specific shoe with a zigzag pattern, as you can see here. This gives you the ability to slide and hit your shot controllably. This leads me to the second point, sliding. Sliding is a movement pattern that distinguishes clay from many other surfaces. You have the ability to slide into your shot and cover more space in a shorter amount of time. Of course, it is also different to go from indoor to outdoor tennis. And that's why we want to show you some great exercises how you can improve your sliding skills. So the first drill is the cone sliding drill. You have two cones and you place them about two to three meters away from each other. Then the first way how you can slide is to just slide from side to side. But then there's also a more difficult way. You can try to slide as precisely as possible and stop right behind the cone. This is really important because like this, you can practice to have a good distance to the ball and hit controllably. So the second exercise that you can do is the so-called star drill. You start in the middle of the court and then run to the outside lines, to the front lines and to the tee. You always go back and forth. Like this, you have all different kinds of directions and can improve your sliding skills. Outdoors on clay, you will see that the points will last much longer. It is not going to be short like serve and return. Most of the time, you will hit in between four to five shots until you finish the rally. So what impact does that have on your game style? You all know Rafael Nadal and we know how he plays. He plays a higher curve over the net in order to give himself time to recover and build the point from there. Through angles, depth and height, he can push his opponent back, open up the court and build the point from there. Of course, going longer rallies also means that your endurance and conditionings are going to be tested. So let's show you some exercises how you can improve your conditioning. In order to enhance your clay court game, you need a good level of endurance. You can go for some longer runs in the nature or you can do some tennis specific interval training on court. Let me show you. Interval training is one of the best ways to prepare your body for clay court season. Why? Because it represents a long and intense rally, then you have a break and then you have to keep going again. So what can you do? Have a coach feed you 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 and 20 balls in a row and then all the way back to 10. You're definitely going to be tired, 
but this is what's going to help you in the future. If you are playing often with a partner, another great exercise is also when one of you guys plays cross and the other one down the line. You can do this for two minutes each, then rotate again, take a break and do it all over. This also represents a long point, a long rally, you're gonna be exhausted, but it definitely is going to prepare your body for a long and hard match. Also, the court preparation is different to indoors and hard court tennis. After you finish your session, you need to sweep your court. There are two different ways how you can do this. Also, every court should have a line brush. So, after you finish sweeping the court, you have to do the lines, so the next person is ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video about clay court adjustments. If you tried out the exercises, let us know what you think about them. We would love to hear about it. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, do so. Thanks for watching and see you next week, your World Tennis Network.